Hi, I am Dipjani Nath. Welcome back to my channel Craft Edit. This is a lovely drawstring bag with a shell stitch. And I have made this bag using different colors. It has a round base and it's quite big inside. You can keep your small items while traveling and also here you by pulling your strings you can close it like this and I will show you how to make this bag. Now let's start this project. I am using four different colors blue, gray, off-white and pink and now we will start by making a magic circle if you have difficulty in making magic circle please check out my previous videos this is my magic circle and now make chain 2 2 and now we will make 11 more half double crochet this chain 2 we will uh, this chain 2 is uh, like one half double crochet so we will make 11 more half double crochet in this magic ring 1 2 4 5 10 11 Now count this half double crochet 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and this chain 2 is 12 total we will have 12 half double crochet now pull your yarn in this way to make a circle and now we will join at the top of the chain 2 by slip stitch and this way a circle is complete now again make chain 2 we will start our second row in this row we will do two half double crochet in each stitch so make one more double crochet half double crochet we have two half double crochet again into the next chain make two half double crochet go on to the next chain make two half double crochet one two you can see it two half double crochet in each stitch so we will complete the round and 
they will meet at the end of this round now we have come to the end of the round two and we will join at the top of the chain two by slip stitch at the end of the round two we will have 24 half double crochet again chain two do one half double crochet two half double crochet in the first chain and then one half double crochet in the next chain in each row we will increase by 12 stitch so in the first stitch we have done two half double crochet in the second stitch we will do one half double crochet again in the next stitch we will do two half double crochet and in the next stitch we will do one half double crochet again in the next stitch two half double crochet and in the next stitch one half double crochet in the next stitch we will do two half double crochet and in the next stitch one half double crochet in this way we will increase our stitches two half double crochet then one then two then again one then again two then again one in this way we will complete this round and we will meet at the end of this round at the end of the round three we have 36 half double crochet and we will join by slip stitch again do chain two one half double crochet in the same stitch now in this row we will increase by again 12 stitches so the first stitch we will do two half double crochet and the next stitch we'll do again one half double crochet again in the next stitch we will do one half double crochet that is two half double crochet in the first stitch and one half double crochet in the next two stitches again two half double crochet in the one stitch and one half double crochet in each of the two stitches again two half double crochet in the next stitch and one half double crochet in each of the next two stitches again two half double crochet in the next stitch and one half double crochet in each of the next two stitches in this way repeat this to the end of this row and we will meet here at the end of the row 3 we will have 48 stitches now we have come to the end of the row 4 we will join with the slip stitch At the end of the row 4 we will have 48 half double crochet stitch again do chain 2 
and one half double crochet in the same stitch in this row we will do two half double crochet in the first stitch and one half double crochet in the each of the next three stitches one two and three again Again, repeat the same two half double crochet in the same stitch and one half double crochet in each of the next three stitches. In this way we will complete this round at the end of this round we will have 60 stitches so complete this round we will meet at this end now we have come to the end of the fifth round and we will join to the top of the chain 2 by slip stitch at the end of the fifth round we have 60 stitches here 60 half double crochet stitches now we will go to the next row by chain 2 again do one half double crochet that is two half double crochet in the first stitch and one half double crochet in the next four stitches one two three and four two half double crochet in the first stitch and one half double crochet in each of the next four stitches again two half double crochet in the next stitch and one half double crochet in each of the next four stitches again two half double crochet in the first next stitch and one half double crochet in each of the next four stitches in this way go on making the whole round and we will meet here at the end of this round now we have come to the end of the sixth round and we will join at the top of the chain 2 by slip stitch and now this is our base of the drawstring bag we have already made the base of the bag and now make chain 2 this is our next round in this round we will work one half double crochet in each stitch only and this in this round also we will do one half double crochet in the back loop you can see this is the front loop and this is back loop here in this round we will work in the back loop only 
so work one half double crochet in the back loop only one half double crochet in each stitch one half double crochet in each stitch and this way and this way and complete the whole round and we will meet at this end now we have come to the end of this row this is the last stitch and now we will join at the top of the chain 2 this is inner side and this is the outer side you can see it and now we will from this row we will start our pattern pattern consists of two rows only row 1 and 2 and we will repeat the row 1 and 2 again and again as long as you want so now we will start our first row and for that I am going to change my yarn I am showing you I am taking this grey yarn and now our first stitch will be single crochet so insert your hook grab the yarn pull through you can see the two loops on the hook and we will not uh, uh, complete our single crochet stitch here we will leave it and then we will add the second yarn new yarn here in this way leave it and now we will work with this new yarn do one single crochet here and now we are starting our pattern the first stitch is single crochet then do one chain and skip the next stitch this one skip this one and work in the next stitch here in the next stitch we will do one double crochet we will skip this stitch and we will work on this stitch one double crochet chain one and again one double crochet in the same stitch you can see it first we have done one single crochet then chain one and then skip one stitch and then in the next stitch we will do one double crochet chain one and double crochet in the same stitch again two chain one and again skip the next stitch we have done the, in this stitch and now we will skip this stitch and we will work in this stitch here also we will do one single crochet then again chain one again skip the stitch and do one double crochet chain one and one double crochet again 
chain 1 skip one stitch do one single crochet in the next stitch then again chain 1 you can see first single crochet then chain 1 skip one stitch then in the next stitch we will do one double crochet chain 1 double crochet again chain 1 again one single crochet then we will skip one stitch again do one double crochet chain 1 double crochet again skip one stitch and one single crochet chain 1 again chain 1 and again one double crochet in the same stitch again chain 1 and repeat the same do the same to the whole round in this way and we will meet at this end I have come to the end of this row skip one chain do one half double crochet chain one and double crochet chain one and now we will join here again slip stitch now you can see we will now go to the second row of the pattern now I want to change the color of the yarn here so I am taking another yarn and I am joining my yarn here chain 1 now pull your yarn in this way now you can keep this yarn you have walked before or otherwise you can cut it down also now I am going to work with this yarn our first stitch you can see now what we will do you can see we have done here one double crochet chain one and one double crochet now we will do one single crochet here in this chain one space chain one and now above this single crochet we will do three double crochet one two and three again chain one and again in this chain one space we will do one single crochet again chain one and again above this single crochet we will do three double crochet this is our row two of our pattern chain one again do one single crochet in the chain one space chain one and three double crochet above this single crochet
chain one you can see this is row one and this is row two do exactly the same to the whole round and we will meet at this end this is end of the row two and now I'm going to change my color of the yarn and adding new yarn one chain and now you can see here is the single crochet stitch here we have done in the previous row and above this single crochet now we will do one double crochet chain one and one double crochet in the same stitch again chain one and above this three double crochet in the middle we will do one single crochet again chain one and above this single crochet we will do one double crochet chain one and one double crochet chain one again above this three double crochet in the middle we will do one single crochet then chain one again one double crochet chain one one double crochet in the same stitch chain one you can see this is a third row and repetition of row one in this way we will repeat row one two one two only so repeat the same to the end of this row and we will meet here I have come to the end of this row crochet chain one and one double crochet and now we will join and we will now start our fourth row fourth row will be exactly the same as row two and now I am going to change my yarn Now you can see here one double crochet chain one and one double crochet we have done in the previous row and here in this chain one space we will do one single crochet this is repetition of row two then chain one again above this single crochet we will do three double crochet chain one again in the chain one space we will do one single crochet chain one and above this single crochet we will do three double crochet we will only repeating row 1 and 2 again and again as long as you want and do this exactly in the same way row 1 row 2 row 1 row 2 and now I am going to finish my rows I will be making 20 rows and I'm coming back after finishing my rows up to row 20 now I have come to the end of the row 20 
थ्री हाफ डबल थ्री डबल क्रोशे चेन वन एंड नाउ वी विल जॉइन एट द फर्स्ट स्टिच बाय स्लिप स्टिच एंड कट ऑफ योर इन इन नाउ यू कैन सी इट आफ्टरवर्ड्स इनसाइड द बैक एंड नाउ दिस इज योर This is your bag. And now I am going to make strands for this bag. I have taken here four strands of yarn and for the string I have I am using this 2.5 mm crochet hook and with this I'll be making just chain stitch just make chain stitch in this way it will be a beautiful string for your back you can see it in this way make your string i have already made this is my string and now i will insert it into this back here in this row you can see the single crochet stitch here here you can see the single crochet stitch and now i will insert my yarn we will insert this string to this hole in this way and now through this we make in and out in this way now this is your crossing back and this is a strings and pull if you pull it and close it like this open it it's quite big inside and close it by pulling your strings now this is your drawstring bag i hope you enjoyed thank you very much for watching